John Bellamere will face Bob McCosh here going into the semifinals at the Nevada Nationals. And currently, right now, low ET of the meet carrying on into Monday for the top alcohol funny car class. The Killer Bees are certainly got it on kill at the moment. Doug Gordon in the Betta Motorcycles Machine, the world champion for 2023, will face Jim Whiteley. Now, Doug has had the number on Why Not Racing, and this is a rematch of the Fall Nationals at the Texas Motorplex. About to go down here at the semifinals of the NHRA Nevada Nationals. For Bob McCosh, who was supposed to face Sean Bellamere in the semifinals, there was a medical emergency with a crew member, non-life-threatening, but Bob wanted to handle that with the local medical personnel, so he didn't make the semifinal matchup against this man, Sean Bellamere, and you all loaded it up to <laughs> see what was out there, smoked the tires, but you still got a win light going into a final round here at the Nevada Nationals. Yeah, and first and foremost, we're thinking about Bob and his team. I mean, that's health of everyone is over and above the racing part so we just we send our prayers to them i hate winning races on by runs ever and then for it to be like that it just doesn't feel right but uh but you know steve because we had a by run said we may as well um we knew racing either jim whiteley or doug gordon either one of them is gonna be really fast so we had to we had to find its limits uh and we did and so um it was nice to have that I really don't think lane choice is a big deal. So, um, you know, the Whiteleys are longtime great racers. Jim's been a world champion before, so you know they're going to be up for it. I know the Killer Bees are, uh, and I, I, I feel like if I do my job, and uh, we should, uh, we should be in pretty good shape. But uh, take nothing away from the Whiteleys; they're tough. The other half of the final round here for the Nevada Nationals in Top Alcohol Funny Car, Jim Whiteley. He beat his wife, by the way, to get there. But then finally beat Doug Gordon, who has had your number in this Why Not Racing team. But it doesn't get any either. You got Sean Bellamere. No, Sean. Both of those cars are really, really good. And uh, we got lucky to get by Doug. And uh, Sean will go out and run a 39 or a 40 here. And if we can run anything close to it, it we'll give him a race anyway. We'll try. So they're, uh, they're, they're hard to beat. That, huh? Love beating them converter cars. It's Monday, the strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The Nevada Nationals are wrapped up for top alcohol competition, and this is the funny car winner. And I have been informed if you've raced on a Monday, you've won it. <laughs> you know, I guess you're right. It's uh, what a whirlwind of emotions here, and you know we've. It, it's it's hard to stay focused when this happens. I mean, you think you're going to race, and then you don't, and then they take you back, and then you're waiting for waiting to go again. And uh, but you know, for the killer bees, they stay focused all the time, trying to do my job. And you know, I told them after Dallas, 
I, I let the team down, and uh, and they propped me back up again. I was really trying to just to stay focused, get the job done. And uh, anytime we race a converter car, it's just extra sweet. And uh, um, you know, I really believe a clutch car with a brake handle and a three-speed transmission is the way a top alcohol funny car should be. I love the parody, but I also love beating them. Yes, you did not secure the rights to have a one on this car for 2024 you'll have a two on this car but it's got to ease the pain to win on a birthday weekend for someone so important in this team well and that was part of the driving factor too i mean steve boggs 80th birthday and for as long as he's been out here doing this and and you know how good he is how many years he's been so good at this um it gave us all a little extra pep in the step and uh, heading into the winter time and you know we still got a couple races left we were going to try our best to win them too but heading into the winter time i mean obviously we are already looking ahead to the goal of 2024 and uh and making plans to do so Ladies and gentlemen, we're down here Monday Nationals, NHRA Nevada Nationals. We have a top alcohol dragster winner crowned, and that is Jackie Frick. Let's catch up with her very briefly as she gets a lot of congratulations. They're getting her ready. The medallion's going to go on because she is a winner of a national event. And Jackie, it's been a stellar year for her so far, a lot of final rounds. Second national event, I believe, for 2023. Second national event, yeah. First one was Seattle, and apparently they just said we only win when our crew got... Pause for burnouts. They said we only win when our crew guy Jeff's here, so I guess he's never allowed to miss another race. Uh, my husband's here, which is awesome. He hasn't been here for very many national events. My nieces changed their flights to be here. My, my sister had to go home. But uh, happy Halloween, Riley. We're bringing you home a Wally. Pretty excited. Thank you to my crew guys. Uh, it just, everything they do is, I mean, a million percent makes me feel so confident. And it's the boss's birthday tomorrow, so I think this is the best birthday present I could have given him. Happy birthday, John Boy. Thank you. Top alcohol is done with this combined Monday in Nevada Nationals here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Congratulations to Sean Bellamere, the winner in Top Alcohol Funny Car, and Jackie Frick, the winner in Top Alcohol Dragster. I'm Lee Kraft with this Top Alcohol Report, and you can expect these reports from the very regional to take place here and even the final race of the year in Pomona, California. All of it brought to you by this weekend, McKinney Corp.